Hello and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2. My name is Dr. Demix and this is the Althawan Mortal Empires campaign playing with the SFO add-on. Uh, and let's just kick things right off. Uh, so we left off last time. We had just confederated with Avalorn who gave us an incredible amount of, uh, of land. Uh, and um, they just wiped the Cult of Excess off. Oh, not the Cult of Excess, the Cult of Pleasure I think that is. They just wiped them off of our island. Um, and so I've just got an overview of how much land we own on turn 31 only, so it's really, really early on in the game. And um, we're absolutely ripping it apart here. Um, kind of hard to believe it's legendary, but although that is the case, because we have inherited so much land, we're kind of not going to be able to hold it very easily. And I think we'll find ourselves struggling very soon um, because we'll be a great power now. And because of that, people are likely to declare war on us. And uh, so, well, instead of predicting the future, let's just jump into it and see what happens. So there's nothing over here in Tordrin Nail. Let's we're gonna have to spend the turn probably building stuff up. Um, start with the plaza. We'll build, well, we're just gonna build that everywhere. To be honest, we need to get to work on this public order as soon as possible. Um, yep, gates would be good everywhere. And then what have we got? We've got the money building here, which is not bad. I'm gonna build the plaza again. Buildings are causing us minus nine. The Shrine of Cain. I uh, think about this. I've got to build this. Ten turns to build. My god, that's a long time. And that's all of our gold. Um, let's just see how we're doing for public order in other places. I think that's the one that has the biggest public order problems. So it makes the most sense to do that. Mage of a couple of heroes. Uh, so let's not waste any time here. We need to keep a war going so that we're uh, making money. And uh, the best way to do that is war. So we might just go around and declare war on Christ. Uh The Dark Elves are also an option, but they're across the sea, which makes them a bit of a pain. You summon the Shadow King. Do you... Nagareth will be the next ones I would really like to confederate with. Uh, they will give us a, a foothold in this land over here. I don't know if they can. I've never actually uh, played High Elves recent enough. I don't think I've played High Elves to a point where you can confederate with him past uh, since he's come out. So um, I'll, I'll discover that in five turns. It's not showing us the option now either way because um, we just did the confederation. So we have to wait five turns. As we can see by the debuff up here, it'll probably say ten turns. It says 10 turns, but it's actually not right. right. Uh, for some reason, it's a little bug in SFO. It's actually five turns. Okay, so let's look over here. We've got Tyrion. Providing 13 bonus to this place. Um, so it's still not nearly stable. If we can get a promenade built there, then we can perhaps leave it. Um... I'm just trying to think which direction would be the best to go in. The Skaggy here seem to be a bit of a one-man band. They're just one... One settlement, so taking them out would be the end of them. Let's just give them walls. They do not have walls, so it'd be a 20 men plus another five. We could go and try and fight him with Alariel. Loyal to a fault. Let's see what the uh, public order is for this area. It is minus four. We could just declare war on Torsithai. I don't think they have any lords that we care about having yet. Yasmin, there. Um, and that would give us a bit more income. So I think we'll do that. I think we'll just take Kalidor by force. Because that's going to be quicker than easier than waiting to confederate with them. And that's another person dealt with. Let's just see if they have any military allies. Cult of Pleasure at war with. Well... 
that's another reason why we should attack them. Because the Cult of Pleasure will probably um, make a... I was going to say beeline, but no, they'll make it a priority to come over here and take these settlements. So we'll try and take them first. So let's deliver our uh, declaration of war formally. Breaking them. Did we declare... Did we have a peace treaty with these guys? Or is it... Do we have a non-aggression pact? We have a non-aggression pact. Ah, so we can't do it. Never mind, never mind. I should have thought about that. Sorry. It's been a couple of days since I played the campaign. I've played other ones since, so I forgot what's going on. Do we have one with you guys? No, we do not. So we could go and take Kreis. And we probably have one with, uh... Kothik as well, do we? Non-aggression pact. We do have one with them. Okay, probably best to go and take Christ then, I think, at the moment. I think that's the best option. We shall march. Although I'm very tempted to go across and take Skeggy. I can't imagine he's got much in the way of, of anything special. Oh, I can see everything he's got. Wow. Just considering our options here, I'm re really not sure. You know, the problem with taking all the ones so fast is I'm a bit um, <laughs> unsure of the progression. Usually, there's such a war going on with the Dark Elves by the time you take it to this stage that the the progression seems obvious. I feel like I should still go for the Dark Elves because they'll declare war on us regardless, won't they? That's going to happen no matter what. Um, so perhaps that is the best thing to do. Who's next to Skeggy? It's how You know what would be good as well? We need to discover other people. So either way, we should be sailing out and uh, checking up on things. So let's do that. Oh god, there's attrition no matter where we go, really? Oh, it's because there's a storm here, is it? Tempest, yeah. Bugger. Uh, we're going to head north then. We're going to Toran Rock. Greetings, my children. Which we need to build up as fast as possible. Two turns until surplus, and then we need to, we need to get that gold mine. That's, that's the that should be the top priority actually. So two turns, and we'll build that gold mine. Who is this? Terra, part of Tyrion's army. Give him blade shield. And Tyrion is going to head north here as well. He's going to head up to Tory Vries first. I never tire. And then you know what? Tyrion is going to be the one. We're just going to take. Oh no, we can't. I keep forgetting. Sorry. We're going to take Chris. That's right. <laughs> I'm getting together here. Sorry. I'm getting get it together, Demons. Come on, man. Jesus fucking Christ. Right. Uh, we'll send our agents north as well. I think they're going to be more useful there. Actually, you know what? We're going to send them where will be the most profitable trading partners exist. That's the question. Um. Yes, let's send them over this way. We want to discover people so we can get as much trade going as possible, because that's how the elves make most of their money. And we'll pass our turn there. Probably not going to be much excitement in this episode. Um, well, if you consider the exciting part of the battles. Certainly some interesting campaign moves on the go. We need to decide how we're going to um, basically keep everything together now that we've got it all. Um, I imagine there's going to be a few rebellions pretty soon, especially in the Shrine of Cain area. Um, so it'd be really good to try and stop them and, and hold those provinces and make sure we don't lose them to um, Dark Elves or anything else that might crop up from the rebellions. The best way to deal with rebellions, I find, is actually not to, to try to um, build things that deal with the public order, but early on just to get the level 3 walls in the capital of each province and then you don't need to worry about rebellions because even though they happen uh, you'll consistently beat them and then they just serve as a source of income really until you can get on top of it because they give you money for, for beating them oh oh wow level turn 32 chaos my god
They surely plan to invade the world of mortals once again. Oh my god. Turn 32 Chaos Invasion. <laughs> ah! Oh, excellent. All major port have been discovered as well. So that's good. That will give us some people to trade with. Hopefully we can find a bunch of people who don't mind us. Ready. Empire. Of the Empire! Yes! So trade with us, my friend. Excellent. Money, money, money. Military access. Let's just build it up. That's okay. I don't care after that. We've discovered Wissenland as a result. It's excellent because you trade with the first person. And uh, as a consequence, you discover the next people because they, uh, they re they're revealed to you on the map. High elves are so strong. One. Uh, military access. Sure. There we go. Just to keep our relations high. Non-aggression pact. Trade agreement. Yep. Oh, this is excellent. We are so strong so early. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, just double check. Kislev all the way over here now. Bordello. <laughs> Let's make sure we get the trade agreement. Sometimes you can, you know, you can do it one by one and then demand payment at each time. But some, sometimes after you make one deal, their likelihood of making other deals goes down. So it can be dangerous to do it that way. I prefer to just do it all on a one -er and uh, guarantee that you get what you want, you know. My gosh. Do that again, but we'll just ask for 300 gold. All right. Anyone else? The Empire. This is a proposal? No, sir. quite, quite crazy. What? Greeting, stranger. As you say, sir. Good. Hopefully they'll uh, improve in due course. Do you know who? These lands are as you say. Just getting non-aggression non packs with these guys now is just sowing the seeds so that later they um, they like us and will trade with us. Didn't mean to skip down there. There we go. Wow. But you're not far away. Let's just ask for the uh, non-aggression pact. No. Oh, what's going on? Why, why does it keep... Oh, look. It's wrong. So I go like this. And then I go out again and now they hate me. So it's just a bug. That's why. I was wondering what was going on there. Every single time they suddenly seem to hate me. Non-aggression pact. Uh, I'll do that for 200 actually. Just to hopefully bolster their chances of trading with us later. Okay, there we go. So we, we've really made strides in our diplomacy. It's really excellent. Um... Might spend a bit of influence influencing some of the other ones to get our trade. Well, let's see what our income is now. Plus 2,500. Up from about 600, 700 return with, with these guys in marching stands. So it really is a big difference. <laughs> Quite a lot. Um, so that's good. <laughs> I think we can take that as a positive. Then I can build these walls finally. So Tori Vries no longer is, uh, is under any real threat. Uh, we'll upgrade this as well. And... That's really going to give um, this province the protection it needs for me to be able to leave it. So that's good. Of the Let's keep sailing this way. Monument of the Moon. These guys don't like us. Fair enough. Where are we going to go with Alariel? Still unsure, so we'll just we'll just wait. We'll be patient. Oh no, we need to head north. Of course we do. We need to head north uh, as quickly as possible in order to uh, protect the north from the chaos invasion. So yes, both both armies head north. Post haste. 
take Kreis on the way <laughs> if we want. They're not exactly uh, a major power, are they? Okay, let's pass our turn there. See what Chaos do. Undoubtedly come and try and take everything off us. Which wouldn't be the greatest shame. It wasn't exactly hard won. <laughs> But we prefer to keep it if we can, and we will. And we will try. Here we go, let's see what they're up to. They did not sail towards us, or at least not with enough vision. I don't know if I'm happy or nervous about that. <laughs> so I'm like, at least if I can see them, I know what they're up to. But then perhaps it means that they're not coming for us after all. So. Van Heimling is declaring war on loads of people. I don't think that's in their best interest, considering how small a nation they are. Oh, these... It's these guys. Servants of the Chaos. Here they are. Puppets of Chaos... Still no? Where are they? What's going on? <laughs> Phew! Okay, we're okay. Um... No idea what they're up to. I think we'll just get her into Tordranil for now. Try and help our income. No, you know what? We're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. There's no reason to stop. Um, I won't bother marching, though. Because we can't reach where I'd like to go if we're marching, so it doesn't make a difference. Uh, Tyrion, shall we declare a war on Kreis? I think we shall. I think it's just easier just to take them now while we're here. There's no benefit to not doing it. So, yes. A little surprise attack on this guy. Hopefully this is the right decision. He's probably going to run away. Yeah, ah, wow, he made, it, he made it into range of these guys. Okay, this will be a much tougher fight. Oh, we can't reach? Ooh, I am surprised. Okay, that this could have been a, uh, the first mistake <laughs> of the campaign. No matter. Um, no point in that because we don't have any spellcasters. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm, I'm assuming these guys are going to group up together and attack me. Uh, that's what I would expect them to do. Which is fine. I hope they do, to be honest. That would be, be the best outcome for me as well. So they, they might not do that, of course. Um, over here, what should we build? Level 2, so we need some growth. Growth building and... Public order from wine. Nothing calms people down like a glass of wine. Dragon egg resource. Um, we do need to worry about public order, but it's not that bad, so we'll, we'll get round to it. We, we won't rush it. Um, also, I did say I was going to prioritize this one turn. Okay, yeah, and then next turn we upgrade it. Oh, goodness me. Forgot to move my agents. That's silly. Every turn that we don't is trade lost, because there's more people we can trade with. Probably not that second agent there. <laughs> He's uh, probably not going to find anything up there except Dark Elves. To tr and... Uh, I doubt they'll be wanting to trade with us. I have to say this is the quickest I've ever expanded. Um, it is a relatively easy campaign by, by legendary standards. Uh, legendary difficulty, but um, this is still the quickest I've ever expanded, so I don't know what to expect, really. 
Um, I think I really need to start pushing the momentum as quickly as I can. But I, I really feel like this is going to cost me more than it's going to help me. Um, and the reason I say that... Oh, hello. Really? That's annoying. Okay, that's that's good too. I'm glad he did it. Good stuff, he failed, thank goodness. That's good too. He put the bigger army in the smaller garrison and the smaller army in the garrison that's going to be more annoying, so I'm quite happy with that. Because this one's not got walls. So we'll prefer this fight. Usually I prefer them inside the walls, but uh, with High Elves, just because of their superior archers, um, it's actually quite a pain fighting them inside their walls. So the fewer the better. <clears throat> I thought that was chaos for a second in the background there, but it's not. It's... Uh, one of the random horde factions. Federation, critical failure, excellent. Where is this happening? Next turn there will be a rebellion, but that's okay because we'll have walls, so no problem there. Tell backland has been destroyed. Mutinous gits have been destroyed. No surprises coming from there. Okay. Oh my lord. Really? I think these um, these Talons of Tor Kalida, I think they are really giving an uh, uh, advantage to their Deliver them to their balance of power, because I don't think this is accurate at all, personally. But let's see what happens. Bring me battle! Okay, that looks like we have, I think we have the high ground there, which is good, since they have a lot of cavalry. This rock, we might, we might corner camp it, set up on the hill. It is legendary very hard. We have to use the cheese tactic sometimes. Guarantee the victory. Okay, we do have a high ground forest here. Oh, the graphics bug there. There we go. It's okay. Wow, okay. Interesting map. So we could take this hill. It is a nice hill. But it's also surrounded by trees, which I don't like. Or we could set up across the river, which I like the idea of more. Interesting map. I don't think I've fought on this map before, actually. I'm hoping I've not bitten off more than I can chew here. You know what? I'm actually going to use this rune. This is the... You use this rune to the water. And then we're going to do this. Then our, thin our ranks up a bit. I think I've got too many spearmen on the line here. Let's just spread it out a little bit more so we can have some reserves. Got to get this right because otherwise we'll lose the battle. That doesn't look too bad. So you really want them as thin as possible because they're going to get archer fire as well. And the archer fire comes in a sort of flat line because of the formation of their guys. So it tends to hit less people. It'll only hit the front of the line. So sorry elves on the front. You are 100% you are dead man. <laughs> there is no doubt about it. You are a dead man. And then we'll have these guys covering the flank. So will we have the white lions of Krace doing the same. Tyrion, Terra in these gaps. And then the archers close to in the beginning. We might move them back a little bit. 
but we'll have them quite close in the beginning. Cavalry, uh, I'm not sure where to put them. Probably hide them in the trees over here. Chariots are just unhideable, aren't they? <laughs> you just can't hide them. It's strange. I mean, I know they're they're chariots, but they should be hidden in that much trees, right? That's that's quite a forest. No matter. We will pop them over here. I'll have one hidden. That's fine. That works fine. Okay, let's give it a go. Hopefully I haven't made a gross error in judgment. Oh, look at these burning farmlands. This is such a good map. Destroyed tower. Oh, we've been a pillaging. We've been hard to work. Terrible business. War. <laughs> okay, so these archers are coming for us. We'll move back up the woods, and then if they come into the water, that's when we'll go. And they are coming into the water. And wow, it didn't seem to affect them at all. Holy crap. What? What, what, what? Let's go for the, uh, them for now. Okay, one. Just move forward a bit, guys. Oh, that's horrible. Let's focus on the archers. As always. Keep switching these guys up. Just make sure that they're uh, maximizing. Spear's doing a good job. Let's get Tyrion in here. What's Tyrion doing? He's doing fine. Okay, we're massacring them archer-wise. Let's get Tyrion forward to take on their general. That's fine. These guys switched quite nicely, but they need to follow up. Let's get you guys into some of the archers over here. Let's bring the chariots back as well. They can rally. I don't mind that too much. Come on. Come on. Accidentally catching our silver helms. That's a bit of a pain. Oh, guard mode. Guard mode. Honestly. Silly. Very silly. Uh, let's kill this guy with our... Look at these spearmen doing a good job. They're doing what they're meant to do, standing and dying bravely. You know, that's what they're meant to do, really. I did ask them to come back. I don't know why they're doing that. Maybe I didn't. I tend to find if I look, look back through the footage when I say these things, I'm like, Oh, no, I didn't. So now I'm like, don't look like a fool, Demix. <laughs> You probably didn't. Oh, that's Lothurn Seaguard. Let's not engage that instead, then. Okay, Tyrion's doing fine. I'm not happy with the state of our cavalry. Um, I would really like it to survive a bit better than it has. Let's try and pull it back if we can. Nope. Okay, hit these in the back. This should hopefully raise the morale a bit. Because that's an excellent charge. Where's Tyrion? Let's pull him back. Okay, our cavalry ended up too far out there, and now I'm a little bit concerned. Oh, he's also fighting. Why am I doing that? I've got him fighting anti infantry. Oh, no, it's not. They're just archers. Okay, let's try and get more of these archers dead, please. Okay, White Lions of Krace, let's bring you up, get you engaged in this big brawl here. We're running out of ammo, though. I'm quite scared of what's going to happen when we run out of ammo. Terry needs to come back. Fire on these horse archers here. They're all dead. Excellent. Archers. Lutheran Sea Guards. Uh, focus the Lothar and Sea Guard as a priority there. Talons of Kill. Anything that can melee, because what I can do with the rest of my troops is once we win in melee, we can then occupy the rest of their archers who are terrible in melee. That's the plan, anyway. 
Now, where is Tyrion? Tyrion's, Tyrion's here. He's fine. Let's move up, lads. I know it's not great, but it's not the worst it's ever been as well. If you're out of ammo, you're getting in melee, guys, I'm afraid. Perfect, they're shattering. Oh, excellent. Just in time. Okay, it was a bit messy. I, I kind of messed up with the cavalry. I hope my silver helms, they retreated in time to be safe. Um, but we still won. And I knew it was going to be a tough battle there. But all in all, a good battle. Archers coming in clutch as always. And yeah, those uh, Torquilida, I think those Torquilida... Is it Torquilida? Talons of Torquilida, yes. I think they affect the uh, auto-resolve greatly. Uh, much more than they actually um, are worth in battle. It's like the Lothurn Sea Guards, you know, the, the, the game ranks them highly, but they're actually not a valuable unit on the battlefield because you just want them to be firing as archers. It's missile units that get the kills, you know? So you won't want them engaged in melee. So the fact that they're good in melee is sort of a... It doesn't matter, you know? They're not cost efficient. And I think the same is going for these Torquilita archers. <clears throat> and okay, but I think that's where I'm going to wrap this episode up, guys. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's a little bit shorter than the other ones, but I need to... Uh, need to leave it there for this one and um, so if you did enjoy it uh, please like and subscribe comment below and i will do another one shortly so cheers see you later bye